All right, hello, hello. Peter here. Another beautiful day on the ranch. I'm in my apartment. And today we're going to get into some nice black bubble wrap. We've got quite a bit of it here. And uh, I'm sure um, once I pop this whole roll, a um, little pocket by pocket, sorry, a little premature pop there, um, we'll all have had a very good day. I expect this will take about an hour and then we'll break for lunch and uh, have a little a little bonus roll right after that. So uh, let's get right into it. Now, but for realsies, we're gonna be drawing on some Strathmore artist tiles, which happen to be black paper. And on that, we're gonna be using uh, a white pen, a Posca pen, some sort of hybrid between a gel pen and a paint pen. It's got one of those little shaky things in it. Uh, I was, when I did this, I, I was planning on using a, you know, one of those Sigma, Signo, I don't remember what they're called. I can only remember what they're called when I'm looking at them. Uh, but uh, I can't, I couldn't find any of them. I have like 10 of them and I couldn't find any of them because I have piles of stuff everywhere. Uh, they're probably underneath, they're, they're like the very foundation of all my piles and I don't, I don't know where they are. Um, and I didn't want, I guess I didn't want it bad enough. I didn't want to go digging. Anyways, I'm using this pen, this, this Posca pen uh, to draw with for this one. And then near the end of the drawing, uh, you'll see that I'm doing a little bit of shading with a Prismacolor, just like a white Prismacolor pen. Uh, which is pretty cool. I don't, is it still called shading if you're if you're making it lighter, things lighter? Maybe it's called <clears throat> highlighting or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, one thing I realized is, is I tried to do... A lot of people have been asking for this, by the way. Doing white white lines on dark black paper. And... I put it off for a long time, mostly because I I had toyed around with it before, uh, but when I toyed around with it before, I had used just regular construction paper, and it hadn't worked very well. I think partly because the construction paper was almost too absorbent, and uh, this uh, I don't know I don't I'm not like a very good paper scientist, but there's something about it, you know. It says it says special words on it like 400 series and uh, what what else does it say? acid-free drawing paper, 30% post-consumer fiber, medium surface. There's probably something about that that makes it so it's slightly less absorbent and uh, the ink stays more on top of the paper instead of you know being absorbed into it like it does with the construction paper. Uh, when, you, when you draw on construction paper with, with pens like this, it, it, it soaks into it and it's like less vibrant and, and bright. And it's just less satisfying. So... I was like, when I used the construction paper, I was just like, this isn't that fun. But now, as you can see, using these artist tiles, the Strathmore paper, whatever this is, uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty satisfying. I like it a lot. Obviously, you can probably get this same type of paper in all sorts of sizes. This is just the size I happen to have. I've had this sitting around for years. I just never put the two together and, 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 and made this art. And it's pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, you can probably use all sorts of pens. You can probably use the, those jelly rollers that people like. You can use those Signo whatever that I said I always liked. I don't know. You could probably use just like a regular, uh, you know, bottle of, bottle of ink if you want. You could probably use all sorts of, I mean, here's like blue ink. Maybe I'll do some in the future. I've got like, you know, here in, you know, at the, at the end of this one, I used, uh, the pencil to do some shading. You know what would be cool? Maybe I'll do this. If you follow me on Instagram, you might see this in the near future. Actually, I have a huge hankering to do this now. Uh, just grab some various light colored pencils and go at it. Go at it on some black paper with various colored pencils. Like get a white one and like a like a light orange and a light pink. And a, and a slightly different light orange. That'd be cool. Anyways. Yeah, I have no idea how long I've been talking for now. But hi. Hope you're all having a good day. Um, you should all try this, by the way. I don't know how... I, I bought these Posca pens on Amazon, but you don't need a fancy one. You don't necessarily need to use this a specific type of pen. You can buy jelly rollers at, at your office. You know, Office Supplies or Office Depot, Office Max. Home Depot. No, maybe Home Depot. I didn't mean to say that, but maybe Home Depot. Michael's. AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, all sorts of places. You can find white gel pens, white pens. 
uh, and then find some black paper. Like I said, the, the construction paper might not work quite as well. Find something uh, that's like a little bit, seems a little bit denser, a little bit smoother. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but this stuff does seem to work a little bit better. And then once you're done, unwind a little bit uh, with some bubble wrap. Some people do prefer to go, you know, you know, pop one at a time. I remember when I was little, me and my sister, whenever my parents would get a package, uh, we would just put huge sheets of it down on the floor and just, just jump on it, just stomp away. We'd just pretty much be tap dancing, but it'd turn into pop dancing. Is that a thing? Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. You're all amazing. And uh, I'll be back later with another video. Let me know what, uh, let me know what kind of stuff you want to see. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I only did this video because someone, actually lots of people have been requesting it for a long time. But just because you request it doesn't mean I'll do it because there's been a lot of people asking for weird stuff that I have no intention of doing, okay? But if you ask for weird stuff, maybe I will do it. Because sometimes I do do stuff. Do do. Sometimes I do do stuff just because you guys say it. It's like a filter. People request weird and new things and sometimes I haven't thought of it before sometimes I have thought of it before and then sometimes I do do it why do I keep saying do do and then sometimes I don't do it but feel free to free, feel, feel free to request stuff I love it I love all of you you're all amazing thanks for the support of comments you're all you all leave such amazing comments you're all very you're all the greatest people okay okay goodbye